No more North Korea. Trump takes action after satellites find what they hid in boats overnight. The cat and mouse game that North Korea has been playing with America for too long is coming to an abrupt end after President Donald Trump just dropped the hammer on Kim Jong Un. The country's rogue dictator has been warned and didn't think he had to listen. Now, Trump is making him and is serious about the consequences. The regime's recent testing of intercontinental ballistic missiles is in clear violation of the United Nations as well as international laws. That hasn't stopped Kim from launching one into the waters of Japan but his reign of terror and defiance didn't stop there. U.S. spy satellites are constantly monitoring the situation in North Korea and just caught America's worst nightmare. On Monday. It was announced what Kim Jong-un's militants were seen doing over the weekend, showing that they're as serious about going into another world war and President Trump is on stopping them. However, there's no more negotiating with terrorists, which in this case is a little man believed to be mentally ill and wanting to play big boy games that he's going to lose. Dennis Michael Lynch reports. The United States demanded that North Korea stop its missile tests. But the rogue leader of North Korea isn't listening to the warnings. On Monday it was announced that U.S. spy agencies detected the loading of two anti-ship cruise missiles on a patrol boat on North Korea's east coast over the weekend. According to U.S. officials, the loading of missiles is a significant move as it is the first time missiles have been deployed on this type of platform since 2014. Regardless of how ridiculous Kim Jong-un and his archaic military is, Trump understands what his predecessor refused to acknowledge. This problem child isn't going away and is genuinely insane enough to push the button so something has to be done about it before it gets to that point of being too late. Just how serious are these missiles North Korea is moving? According to Fox News, it indicates that another testing is imminent and this one could be worse than the last. It's the first time these missiles have been deployed on this type of platform since 2014. U.S. officials with knowledge of the latest intelligence in the region told Fox News on Monday. It also points to more evidence that North Korea isn't listening to the diplomatic threats from the West. The best signal that North Korea could give us that they're prepared to talk would be to stop these missile launches. Secretary of State Rex Tirson said in the Philippines Monday, North Korea loaded two Storm Patrol anti-ship cruise missiles on a Wonsan guided missile patrol boat at Toejo Dong on North Korea's east coast. North Korea is not showing any evidence it plans to halt its missile tests, said one official who requested anonymity to discuss sensitive information. It's a trend that does not bode well for hopes of de-escalating tensions on the Korean Peninsula. President Trump isn't taking it anymore from North Korea and has announced that it's time to be tough and decisive. The fake news media will not talk about the importance of the United Nations Security Council's 15 to 0 vote in favor of sanctions on N. Korea. He fired off in a tweet on Sunday, then followed it up with a more assertive message on Monday. After many years of failure, countries are coming together to finally address the dangers posed by North Korea. We must be tough and decisive. While the left is incessantly critical of how the president is handling Kim Jong-un, blaming Trump for bringing America on the brink of war, they ignore that their beloved leader did nothing to stop North Korea in his eight years in office which have brought us to this point today. Obama dropped the ball on almost everything and handed Trump his massive mess. He is now doing what he can to disarm North Korea. It's unclear at this point if loading the anti-ship cruise missiles are in preparations for another test in the coming days or a defense measure should the U.S. Navy dispatch more warships to the Korean Peninsula. Fox News reported, One thing is for certain that there's a new commander-in-chief in charge now who doesn't act like this isn't happening and believes in taking a proactive approach to the problem rather than a reactive one.